Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So we look out here at the stands of the Maracanã, covered in shades of bright green and purple, the famous colours of Fluminense. Fluminense have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where Yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Nene. He's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. It did Niels. to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. Internacional have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Gets away from his opponents. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. The referee's awarded a free kick. It was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <laughs> D'Alessandro! Oh, how's that for a goal? That is a gem! An absolute gem! Oh, that is a bit special. Internacional take the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Nene goes long. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Plays it out to the flank. Too long? And over the line. Ganso. 
did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's D'Alessandro. Fluminense in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Fluminense going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Hit long and direct. Defending of the desperate variety. Eden Nielsen. There's the end of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Mm -hmm. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. There seems a lack of bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. It's the start of the second half. Fluminense need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Done very well to intervene. Ganso. Fluminense, still this single goal behind. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. D'Alessandro. Eden Nielsen. Guerrero! What are you thinking? Fluminense are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Hoists it forward. Takes it over to the other flank. Straight forward, it's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Nene. Fluminense can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Ganso. Played out to the right. And here's Ganso. And it's Ganso. And here's Ganso. Ganso delivers. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Forward it goes.
did it. Fluminense must do something here and very quickly. They need something heroic now or a lucky break or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. Ganso. Ganso. A really good feat from him. And he just whacks it away. They are right into last chance territory. Gets it back. And that's it. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, the way the manager has stormed down the tunnel, lent